This is the first video to the new YouTube video series, The Vintage Mac Bench. And you're probably asking, why am I doing this? Well, I'm 24 years old, born in 85, and as all humans do, well most humans, we go through our little nostalgic period. Basically, the period in which the things we grew up with are most noted to us in life. I don't know the full definition of it, but basically in my world is the Macintosh. The Macintosh computers have been some of the most eventful things that's happened in my life growing up as a kid. Some of the things in school, different things I've done, things I've been recognized and notable for, just all kinds of stuff. And I'll be honest with you, I'm a PC guy. This is my this is my rig and it's a PC okay that's what I do my everyday work on but Macintoshes have just been it's just something I can't become unattached with because it's the way computing was this is the way we used to do things back in the day which has changed significantly from the time things are done now but anyway basically this computer here is going to be our central networking hub this is going to have the Ethernet, be able to connect to the Internet, or connect to my emulation running on my main rig. Then over here is going to be networked. This is a Macintosh SE, dual 800K floppy, no hard drive, 4 megabytes of RAM. This is going to be networked to this machine. So I can Apple Talk link from here to here, and be able to get on the Internet or whatever. And we're going to do videos on how to wire these machines together. Now over here is going to be depending on the video. Right now I have my Macintosh 512K sitting right here. Um, in various videos I, I might have a laptop sitting there, I might have my SE30 sitting there, or my Color Classic, or whatever the case may be, depending on the video. But over here this machine's always going to sit here because when I do software videos I'll be able to use this machine to show various features of different software, configuring things, editing resources, and whatever whatever video I plan to do, I'll, this machine might be involved, so it'll be here. If anybody's got any comments on what video I should make regarding what piece of software or however, if I, if I can physically do it, I'll do it. But I may move this machine from here to over there, and then maybe whatever I'm working on in the video, I'll leave here such as maybe a laptop or a uh, color classic or you know an SE30 or whatever the case may be I might put there but this machine's always going to stay here because that's our central networking hub um, so pretty much the all three machines are going to be Apple Talk networked um, that machine I'm not sure I'm going to do it without making some crazy hardware but I don't see why I couldn't so I'll probably end up networking that as soon as I get a keyboard or mouse, which I don't have either. But I might make a keyboard and mouse emulator using a standard Atmel AVR microcontroller, which I have most of the code written for already. I just have to finish it. That'll be another project for another day. But this bank bench is not going to be strictly for software, but it's also going to be for hardware repairs, modifications, stuff like that. Um, so anybody that's interested in watching Macintosh videos, instead of watching every video on YouTube that just shows startup and about this Macintosh, you know, stuff like that, if you actually want to get into it and want to learn what it was like back in the day or pull nostalgic periods up like, oh yeah, I, I remember that, you know, but this is just your basic Apple Mac OS computer, 24 megabytes of RAM. So, Mac OS 8.1, that's why it's found fit for this Performa 5260, 100 megahertz. So, anyway, that concludes this video, and the next video is probably going to be on networking these machines together. But, well, maybe not. I might, before I do that, first steps first, we're going we're gonna to teach you how to make boot floppies for these machines. It's an 800K floppy, so you can't 
write an 800k floppy with a PC floppy drive. We'll explain more about that in the next video.